And again, I say that if two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything that they shall ask, it shall be done for them of my Father, which is heaven. For where two or three are gathered together in my name, that's the church. Is that what it says? This is another misunderstanding. I want to tell you something. Where two or three Christians are gathered together in the name of Jesus is not the church. People have taught, this is the church. You can't have the church gathered without apostles and prophets, without eldership. Living stone, two or three living stones don't make the church. They can't represent the church. The church is represented by those that have the keys. I didn't say you're not of the church. I said the church is not represented there. What this is saying is, before any judgment of this magnitude is made to cast somebody out for them to become as a publican and a heathen, there has to be two, hence, how many, what's the term about eldership in the book of Acts? It's always what? Say it. Plurality. Why? And ordain elders, plurality, so that there can be this agreement to where they're gathered together in the name of Jesus. What did Paul say when he spoke to the Corinthians in chapter 5? When you be gathered together and my spirit be there with you, amen? Bring this judgment on this man. And so the two or three that are gathering here to affect this, putting this person out and counting them as a public and a heathen, these are elders that are doing this. It makes a nice little prayer thing for 700 Club. It's a nice prayer verse for 700 Club where two or three of you are gathered in my name, whatever you, two or three of you ask in my name. But if you look at the context here, that's not what's being said. If you're going to apply it the way that's been, and this is only a, some of you've heard it this way, and, and tragically, you know, we seem to think it's truth, but that, that whole teaching is fairly new uh, in our society. I don't want to get too far detracted, but we just did a whole teaching on prayer. If you shall ask anything in my name, amen? You don't need two or three people to get a prayer answered. This isn't talking about two or three people gathering for prayer. There's nothing in the scriptures that teach you have to get two or three people gathered together so that you can really get something from God. This is talking about a judgment. We're very familiar from the Old Testament into the passages we just read, aren't we? At the mouth of two or three let every word be established. 